Hi everyone, um, this is another episode about bipolar recovery and this one is relating directly to my fourth and last um, osteopath session that I had last Saturday, um, just gone. Um, I will be having more, um, probably after Christmas now, depends how my coming off medication is going um, in the next week and a half to see if I have another one. Um, Saturday in two weeks time or not. Um, we'll see how it goes. But I thought I would just tell you a little bit about the session so that maybe if you're thinking about coming off uh, medication, um, how did it feel like for me um, on that massage bed and afterwards? And um, how do you feel with inside your body, in your mind, in your skin? Um, before you come off a medication and you know is is that place that you're in uh, mentally and physically the right place to be uh, you know do you feel steady do you feel secure do you feel um, safe and ready um, do you feel prepared do you feel supported um, as well as by the people around you in your life but um, by the ground, underneath you, by the earth? Do you feel supported by your own personal surroundings? Um, and for me, I think, when, when I wasn't feeling so steady, it was like I wasn't connected to the earth and to the ground. It's like my energy was up here, a lot around my shoulders and my head. Um, and only from this last couple of weeks of experiencing what rooting down and grounding actually feels like physically in my body do I realise that probably most of my entire life have I never been grounded. <laughs> because it's completely, completely different experience um, and one that's been uh, very interesting to uncover. Um, and very strange sensations at times, um, sometimes really pe pleasurable as well. Um, so yeah, I'll talk about that a bit more. Um, so the actual session on Saturday, uh, we talked for quite a while again, about an hour and a half, um, about the previous two weeks that had gone by and um, what had been happening. And he asked me, you know, do you feel like you've changed much in a month and a half? Um, how do you feel like you've changed? And we were talking about how, you know, uh, I can speak much more openly about things that I might find difficult, as well as things that are happy and, and easy. Did that break down? I, what I said was happy and easy. Um, I think my camera needs updating. I <laughs> uh, hope you heard that. Um, so, where was I? Yeah. So in the past, I would say that things that are emotionally difficult, I would find that I wouldn't talk about those things um, at all, or as easily, um, even with people that are very close to me in my life. Um, and now, you know, even people that I don't know very well, um, some of my friends, my close family, I'm able to open up um, much more easily about things that are difficult for me um, inside. So that's really important, I think, um, because when you're coming off meds, there's going to be times when it's difficult and you'll need to talk about it with someone and be able to just open up, be you in front of whoever just being you. Um, so then we went on to the massage, massage bed and uh, we decided together that it would be a session that is um, physical as well as opening up um, more emotional sides of my body. Uh, and the emotional part that he was talking about was kind of this zone between my hands um, I also had had um, two and a half weeks of a really sore throat with no, no, no change. It was always just waking up with really swollen glands, really sore throat. 
Um, but, you know, I didn't have a cold or anything. And, you know, I knew that it was emotional things that were probably getting stuck here and I couldn't do anything about it. My body wasn't getting rid of it. So he helped with that. He did specific things relating to my throat. Um, and, um, and then I could also feel sometimes in yoga that, like, my head was pulling slightly to the right um, and that there was... Down my left side, I was feeling um, less energy flow. Uh, it felt more blocked, more stuck on my left side generally, especially from my hip down on my legs and my feet. Um, I was just really aware of that. Um, so he worked on both. But when he actually got down to it and I was lying there, uh, we both realised that the amount of yoga that I'd been doing and the physical and emotional work that I'd been doing on myself um, meant that there wasn't really anything to release very much, you know, because in the past with his sessions I'd felt like um, there was things that were gripping on and holding on tight, whether that was a sensation in my head. Um, or whether it was something in my stomach, or whether it was around um, like my breathing area, um, or my back, or you know, you can feel that kind of gripping on feeling in anywhere in your body, and I could I could feel it in all sorts of places in the past, but in that last session, um, that gripping on, that holding on, just wasn't there. Um, so it all flowed really well, and. Um, was a very pleasant experience all round. You know, he did some strange things with my throat, like jangled it around really quickly with his hands. I wasn't making a noise at the time, but yeah. Um, and, um, oh yeah, and then I had to go backwards on the bed so that my head was like totally off the bed. And he, I had to just give him the whole weight of my head. And then he was doing various things with releasing like my neck and my upper back and my head and probably shifting plates and things in my skull and doing all sorts of things I don't know really <laughs> to be honest I don't know much about osteopathy um, or cranial sacral therapy which he probably does a bit of um, but um, by the end of it I was lying there like um, you might call it like a totally 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 open vessel or something like that, just kind of this being that was allowing everything to come in. So it's very hard to describe. I was kind of tingling and vibrant and completely energised, but in a very grounded, steady way, all over my body. It was because in the past I might feel like um, there were voids or there were spaces inside or parts where energy doesn't flow or physical tensions um, within my muscles or my joints or something um, or my breathing wasn't flowing or you know so you can you can tell when you're in dis-ease or um, just not totally relaxed and I was probably the most relaxed you can't get more relaxed than what I was at that moment <laughs> at the end of that session um, he said you know can you can you describe in one word how you feel? And I said, can I have a couple, please? Because, you know, it's the French language. And I said, uh, you know, quand je me sens tout plein, it's just like I'm totally full. It's like the whole of existence um, was just inside of me. Um, and I was allowing all of that to be in there. And everything was just fine. Um, uh, so, yeah, couldn't have felt better, really, <laughs> at all. Uh, I, I wanted to stay there, but in yoga we know that we can't hold on to things that we like, and we can't push away things that we don't like. 